Hello and welcome to Poseidon Tech. In today's episode, we will see how we can block the internet access of a device like this on a very simple way. Of course, this is not the way we will use. We will use Unify Controller and Home Assistant. So, let's get to work. First, we need to go to the Unify Controller. So, let's open a browser and navigate to the relevant page. After we log in successfully, we need to go to Settings and create a new Network Administrator under the relevant menu. Click Add New and proceed to Manual Configuration. Give a username and a password. You can skip the email. Make sure that the role is Administrator, press Next and add some additional roles. And done. That's it. Now we can go to Clients and select the device we want to block the Internet access. In our case, this iPad. Now it's time to go to Home Assistant. We need to open a new tab and navigate to the relevant page. Then we need to go to Configuration, Integrations and press the plus sign. We need to search for Unify, select it and it will be ready in a couple of seconds. OK. We need the, to add the IP address of the Unify controller, the username we just created, and of course the password. And then press Submit. And finish. As you can see, in the Unify we have 13 devices and 13 entities. The 13 devices are the 13 clients we have at the Unify controller. Now we need to press Options. Select to track network clients. Select the SSID you want to monitor. And press Submit. Now Select the client you want, in our case it's the iPad, and press Submit. As you can see now we have 14 entities from 13 devices. Now it's time to configure our UI. Let's go to the network dashboard, configure UI, press the plus sign, select the card you want, give it a title, we need to leave only one, and at this point we need to find the new entity we have just created, it's just this iPad switch, and press save. Now we are ready. By just clicking this button we can disable the internet access of this device and as you can see it disappears from the Unify clients list. If we enable it again it will take some seconds but it will appear again. We have exactly the same control from the Home Assistant mobile app. So if we disable the Internet Access, iPad is disconnected, and if, if we enable it again, it will be connected again. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please press like and consider subscribing to our channel. See you on the next video.